Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a look I did with my Morphe 350 palette and here I'm just priming my eyes with the Too Faced eyeshadow primer. Then I'm just going to put a skin tone or whitish eyeshadow over the primer so that all the eyeshadow blends out nicely. Then I'm going to pick up my e.l.f. spoolie brush thing and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in medium brown and fill in my brows even though they're kind of a mess. I'm just working with what I got. Then I'm going to take the spoolie again and just brush through the brows to distribute the products equally so it doesn't look a little bit too much in some places and I'm just going to continually do that. Then with my BH Cosmetics 12 blending brush, I'm just going to pick up that peanut butter-ish color shade from my Morphe 350 palette and blend that into my crease. Then I'm going to pick up that creamy orange shade and also apply that into my crease. And I forgot to put tape on my eyes before I started, so I just picked up some scotch tape and put that from the end of my eyebrow to about the um, corner of my eye, just to give myself a precise line. Then I'm going to take a darker orange shade and put that into my crease with my Morphe M441 brush. And then taking my BH Cosmetics 12 blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. And then from my Morphe 350 palette, you can't see the color because I didn't realize how zoomed in the camera was, I'm just taking a shimmery champagne -y shade and spraying my Morphe G26, um, I guess, eyeshadow applicator blender shader brush. I forgot to film a clip of it, but with my Morphe M441 brush, I'm just I picked up a reddish orangey brown shade and I put that in the outer V of my eye and through my crease and just blended that through. And then here we have just some more blending. You know, you know the drill. And I'm just taking another darker shade and putting that into the crease again in the outer V just to define it more. Here I am giving myself early onset wrinkles. A 
And you can't see what that was, but that's my Coast to Coast Moisturizer, and I'm just applying that all over my face before I apply my foundation. I'm just taking my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, which was blurry again, but I'm sure you all have heard of this product that is sweeping the internet because Nikki Tutorials started this trend, but I haven't really seen a difference when using this. I might be using it wrong. I might not be letting it get tacky. I don't really know, but it, it smells good, so that's good. I don't know. It was cheap. I like it. But it's supposed to make your makeup stick to your skin like glue. So it's used as a primer, even though it's shave balm. And now I'm just filling in my pores with my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. And taking my damp beauty blender like usual, I'm just taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in natural beige and applying that all over my face. And then I set my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my e.l.f. powder brush. And taking my NYX Contour Kit and my e.l.f. blending brush, I'm going to try to make myself go from a potato to a chiseled potato. With my IT Cosmetics foundation brush, I'm just taking my NYX Cream Blush in the shade Tickled and applying that on my cheeks. With my Icing Powder slash Bronzer brush, I'm taking my Rimmel Bronzer, I think it's the shade Sunny, and applying that everywhere, pretty much. And to add some extra bronzy glow, I'm just taking my Betty Luminizer from the Balm and applying that pretty much where I put the bronzer. Then I'm taking my It Cosmetics foundation brush again and I'm putting my Becca Cosmetics Opal Shimmering Skin Perfection, Perfector, whatever it is, spotlight and putting it on the tops of my cheekbones, my temples, and my nose. And then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics fan brush and take my small little travel size opal powder which I sadly broke the other day because it fell onto carpet. I don't know how it broke from falling on carpet but it's okay. I'll get through it. <laughs> And then I'm just setting my entire face with MAC Fix Plus. 
And here I begin my conquest with false lashes. They are the Ardell 110 lashes and I apply them with the duo glue. And it took me a little while to put them on because it's a struggle. But I got them on and I realized that halfway through like editing this that they were half on my eye. They weren't really attached in the inner corner, but it's okay. False eyelashes are really hard and I'm still learning. And I'm sure everyone watching this is learning too because it is not an easy skill and it does not come naturally. And it's something we all gotta work on. Then I'm just taking my eyelash curler and trying to blend whatever I just put on my eyes together. <laughs> they don't look that bad. It's fine. It's okay. It happens. Then I'm just going to take a orangish color, the first one I put into my crease, on my lower lash line and try to smoke it out. And then I'm going to take the same color I put on my lid and put that in the second inner half of my eye. And I'm doing that using a pencil brush that I got in my Ipsy bag a while ago. It's like double-sided. One side you could put eyeshadow, it's like an eyeshadow applicator brush type thing, and then I'm using the pencil side. And now I'm just putting my Stila Cosmetics huge um, mascara on my bottom lashes. It's gonna be huge. And then I flip my hair about a thousand times. And I'm going to take my NYX retract re retractable lip liner, sorry I can't talk, in plum and just line my lips with that. Then I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Sad Girl. And let me just tell you about this lipstick. It is so pretty. It's matte, but it has sparkles in it and oh my god, it's to die for. But I had a little mishap and got it everywhere and it dries so quickly so it's a little bit hard to clean up. But I think it turned out okay. And here I am flipping, flipping my hair about 50 more times, but that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!